Ed DeRosa of Twin Spires with Fairgrounds announcer John G. Julian. John, your voice is always on. What do you do, though, for a big event? Is there anything in your head you kind of turn to 11 when it's the big day? You always look forward to big days like this. I mean, the 108th running of the Twinspires.com Million Dollar Louisiana Derby, uh, 14 races. I think from the get-go, it's just excitement uh, galore, and uh, look forward to calling the entire card. Uh, will you? Uh, will muscle memory kick in with Brad Cox's name? You think today? <laughs> well, the fact that he's already won the first race with right. Australasia <laughs> with uh, Florent Giroux, nice uh, Sky Kingdom filly winning the uh, Crescent City Oaks. But of course, they've got some uh, big names uh, later down the road here today. But uh, look forward to calling them all. But a good start certainly for Brad Florent Giroux nice uh, state bred Louisiana bred uh, filly there by uh, Australasia by Sky Kingdom so we'll see what she does but at least she's four for four to start off the card very nice indeed and uh, you're familiar with uh, the big favorites in both the Oaks and the Derby you've called them in the prep races for this you're familiar with them got some shippers what do you make of the big races yeah I mean Clarier the ri rivalry renewed yeah I mean, from under <laughs> the twin spires with travel column they're back at it uh, Clarier she looked of course really sharp uh, winning the Rachel Alexandra stakes here uh, at the fairgrounds but then you include like so like Zajel was talking about her she's uh, really run well down there at Gulfstream Park I think I like her chances a lot too maybe she can uh, add her name to this rivalry brewing between yeah. Clarier and travel column and but uh, as usual year in and year out some of the uh, best fillies uh, in the nation they come through New Orleans on the uh, on the road to the run for the Willies and the Kentucky Oaks you've uh, had an opportunity whether it's this Oaks here the now named Rachel Alexandra to call Rachel Alexandra Monomoy girl untappable uh, are you hoping you get to add a Derby winner to that list soon? Well, I think, you know, Serengeti Empress, same connection as yeah. Tom Amos and uh, Joel Politi, red and white blocks, a little tootsie. A lot of talk about her after her uh, local efforts here uh, at the fairgrounds. But uh, as uh, Joe Christofek and I talked about before the Rachel Alexandra stakes, I mean, past 25 winners of the Kentucky Oaks, nine either ran in or won the Rachel Alexandra stakes. You move on here, our road to the uh, uh, fairgrounds Oaks and uh, onto the Kentucky Oaks, but it's always been exciting. Uh, you mentioned some of those horses, yeah. and it's been a thrill to watch them race here in New Orleans, and we always root them on down the road. No doubt, and I'm sure you'll be rooting on uh, the Louisiana Derby winner as yeah. well, or the competitors as they uh, first or second should punch their ticket. Yeah, I mean, you consider Mandaloon, I mean, winner of the uh, Risen Star Stakes, of course, a Midnight Bourbon back after winning the Lacombe Stakes here. Ron Giroux, two-time winner of the Louisiana Derby. I mean, gun runner, of course. Went on to, uh, you know, have a, a uh, horse thing. of the year campaign one year later, you know, as a four-year-old. But uh, Florent Giroux, two-time winner of the Louisiana Derby. He also won with Wells Bayou last year. So he'll look for a, a hat trick of Louisiana Derby wins. And uh, certainly a lot of horses like Mandaloon, John Velasquez, Blinkers on Proxy. Mike Stidham, Godolphin, uh, the Royal Blue. They're our leading owners, 13 wins here this season. So uh, perhaps we'll see if uh, Godolphin, of course, they have Mystic Guide, one of their older horses for the Dubai World That's Cup. Right. Mike Stidham has been based here uh, all winter. And uh, we'll see if maybe uh, Godolphin can uh, take the run for the Roses this year. But they have Proxy here, Blinkers on, for the 108th running of the Louisiana Derby. And I heard all the shouts out on the opening segment with Joe today. I think uh, more <laughs> than my picks at the races, you like seeing where I go out to eat. Uh, R and O's, of course, great po boys and uh, Brightsons. You, you certainly yeah, know. Classic, you certainly yeah. know where to wine and dine. <laughs> classic New Orleans dining for uh, Ed DeRosa when he comes to town. We make the most of it here at Fairgrounds, and always a pleasure hearing your voice, whether I'm here or watching on Twin Spires. Appreciate the time, John. Ed, Ed, Ed goes to Brightsons and R and O's or Drago's for charcoal <laughs> voices. I get the chili dog downstairs. <laughs>